And we opened up the newscast today with a breaking story. The Quinlan Brothers fish plant in Beta Verde caught fire today. That fire broke out around 5.30 this morning. Joining us live from Beta Verde is NTV News reporter Ryan Harding. Ryan, what's the situation as you and I speak right now, please? Hi, Larry. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, I'm about five minutes outside Beta Vert at Tricon Elementary School off the highway there. And uh, the first thing you can tell is that it is really, really windy. Uh, it's gusting about 40 to 60 kilometers right now. And that's making things very difficult for the about 100 volunteer firefighters on scene trying to battle the blaze. We're coming in about a half hour outside near Small Point and uh, Broad Cove. You can see the smoke. Now, it looks a little a lighter gray from there. I thought at first that the fire might have been put out, but once you get a bit closer, you really see that the flames are still blazing and the smoke is still really, really dark. Now, talking to some people who work at the plant, the first word out of everyone's mouth, devastating. There's about 300 homes evacuated of 400. The smoke is billowing over the entire community. It is absolutely covered. About 700 people in total work at this plant, and the mayor today told me that it doesn't look like the plant will be salvageable at all, and all those 700 people will be out of a job, it seems. Now, of course, I said firefighters are still uh, looking at the flames as, uh, uh, you know, got to get it under control because they don't want any neighboring homes to be damaged as well. Now, the mayor did say that some of those homes may be smoke damaged, so they're not sure if people will be allowed back in their homes today at all. As I mentioned, I did catch up with the mayor. You can take a look at what he had to say about overlooking his community absolutely covered in smoke. Economically devastating. Devastating for the community. Devastating for the, the general area and actually for the entire province because over 700 people are employed in that particular facility. They come from all, all areas of the province, all areas of the Bay Bird Peninsula, and even foreign workers uh, that have only recently, I believe, showed up yesterday. How much of the town is evacuated? Right now, uh, when you look, at, when you look out through the town, uh, I've declared an evacuation for both the south side and this this north side right here. So everybody down in this this hollow have been have been evacuated. That would be what about half, roughly, you think? Uh, you're looking at probably 300 people. Out of 400. 400 people? approximately. So that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. I, and it looks to me like uh, just seeing the smoke and in, in the proximity of the homes, like there's going to be some smoke damage there. One would think. Yeah. Well, uh, that's uh, I guess that's just a, a small amount of collateral damage. Containing the fire now to its uh, immediate location is, is the priority. And when you look at the uh, the facility itself, uh, it's ablaze there now. It's it's no doubt that it will be a, a total loss. And the uh, I know there's an ammonia tank. That, uh, some tanks you were worried about. What's the status there? Uh, the the pressure has been released on the tank. Uh, it is well secured in the facility. Uh, right now. Uh, if, if I understand it correctly, uh, the, ammon the ammonia will probably be uh, evaporated inside of the tank. Now, I'm not quite sure of that, but uh, again, I'm getting a lot of information coming from a lot of different directions. The, the fire departments are having a really tough time down there with that fire. What, what, what's in the offing there? It's, 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 it's the perfect wind direction for, for tragedy, really. Uh, the speeds are gusting up to 40 to 60 kilometers here this morning. I believe right now we we have uh, our local fire department here in Bay de Verde, Old Perlican, Hans Harbor, Winterton, Harbor Grace, Carbonair, Bay Roberts. And right now I believe uh, with the uh, equipment from Bay Roberts and Carbonair, and I think Harbor Grace as well, uh, they are uh, trying to uh, uh, employ. As I mentioned, uh, coming in through town, the, so many fire. There are so many firefighters coming in. Uh, they came so quick. When you pass through Small Point, the doors were left wide open, swinging. It looks like they got the call, just came in as quick as possible. And I'm going to head back down to Beta Vert uh, and get all the latest. You can follow along on Twitter as well. Tune in tonight at 5:30 and 6 o'clock for the NTV Evening News Hour. We'll have a full report. Larry J. Ryan Harding, thank you very much. Ryan Harding, of course, reporting live from Beta Vert today.